the most important one is the fact that we are able to collaborate with uh, different engineers from different backgrounds with different levels of experience um, and put together these exciting uh, concepts as EBITOS and vertebrates. I feel like it's an opportunity to explore a new typology and understand how our impact will make a greater change to the urban fabric and urban motion and movement throughout the cities. And also the urban sprawling that is creating lately. And I think this kind of new technology is going to help us expedite point A to point B. I think um, the ability to work with all the different disciplines and uh, also having the opportunity to speculate wildly about what the future of transportation is. I think it will contribute to where we want to live, no? having the ability to, uh, at the drop of a hat, present yourself in downtown, knowing that you're going to hit no traffic uh, whatsoever, that's going to uh, play a significant uh, part as to where we choose to live. Knowing that you're going to, I don't know, spend 35 minutes from point A to point B is going to be a completely game changer because as per right now, you don't know how traffic is going to go. So when you know that that time is completely fixed, that's a super plus for everyone's life. It'll play a big role because, you know, if there's, you know, traffic or that's a your major, major thing here, especially, I guess, in Miami. So I think that will kind of influence things by cutting down on travel time and also, you know, kind of speed the whole process of, you know, getting around town. We establish these bird ports and we have them in place. We can start thinking about sustainability for for new networks, new buildings, things that we haven't even thought of before. Whenever you bring innovation to the table and you do it in a great, inspiring way, it opens up the door to new innovation, which is really exciting.